Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 2 that is problem 3 demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. These are all video tutorials on CNC manual part programming of different turning exercises using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. See here this is session 2 I have said. In session 1 I have told you this was the problem. Okay. This problem I have clearly explained how to do the manual part programming. That means manual part programming, how exactly it has to be done. Everything has been done in the session 1. In the session 2, I totally concentrate on how to do the simulation using phonic turning simulation software. As you are aware in the session 1, I have told leave an alliance of 0.5 on both X and Z after rough turning. And cut increment should be 0.5. And I have clearly asked here, you take two separate tools, one for rough turning, one for finish turning. And rough turning speed should be 1200 RPM. And finish turning speed should be 1450 RPM. Okay, this is what I have said. And as you know, the, pro the programming, as I have been telling you again and again, it is all simple. Okay, the, uh, along the axis it is Z along and perpendicular to the axis it is x. You have to have the coordinates of a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i for the in, in terms of x and z. In terms of x and z if you have the coordinates of a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h, i you are, you are getting the manual programming part programming done and in using g71 multiple turning and finishing cycle and all that you are getting the exact finisher. As you are aware since I have an alliance of 0 0.5, 0 0.1 on both X and Z after rough turning, after rough turning, wherever is the diameter, no? if this is the diameter 10, it will be 10.2, 0.1 this way, 0.1 this way means 10.2, that 0.1, okay, that uh, using the 0 0.1 depth of cut, that will be removed during finishing so that it exactly becomes 10, okay. In the same way, if it is diameter 25 here, 25.1 and 25.1, that is 25.2 actually, and during finishing, it will be the point 0.1 will be removed so that this exactly it will be 25. Even along Z also, if it is 10, it will be 9.9 .9 during roughing and point 0.1 will be removed during finishing. And even see here, even 10, let us say at this point, it is 10, 15, 25. 25 means it is 24.9 after rough turning, that is along Z, 24.9, then point 0.1 will be removed during finishing. Anyway, these things have already explained to you in the uh, that is session one. Now we are uh, will totally concentrate on the phonic turning simulation software before telling you the basics. See here, this planning and operation sheet also I have told you. I have uh, selected two separate tools and all that, roughing and finishing tool and all that. And uh, 1200 mm, uh, 1200 RPM for roughing, 1450 for finishing and all that. And feed also I have uh, given 35 millimeter per minute for roughing. 25 millimeters per minute for finish turning and all that. See here, and I have clearly given the programming here, which I have already explained. Okay, these are all the initial settings billet, uh, G21, G98, and uh, G28, you're not going to home position, everything. Change tool to one, sp uh, spindle change spindle speed to 1200, uh, and G00. This is what I'm uh, telling you. Uh, tool coming rapidly uh, to, to the tool entry position x32 z1 because this is what we have taken is 32 okay 32 is the diameter of the billet and 60 is the length i have taken okay that is home position maybe somewhere here the tool will be from the home position it comes rapidly to this position x32 and it is little 1 mm away from the workpiece it is 0 z will be 0 here as you go here it is minus 10 minus 15 minus 25 in that way it will be minus as you go this way and now you are in the safe position, x32, z1, you are 1 mm away from the workpiece, okay. See here, I have given G71 multiple turning uh, cycle, the explanation I have given, G71, U.5, R1, G71, P10, Q20, U.1, W.1, F35. See here, G71, U.5 means, here I have given clearly, the depth of cut for each cut should be 0.5. In previous problems and all that, I had made depth of cut as 1 mm. Okay, diametrical uh, decrement was after every cut, it was 2 mm. Now it is 0.5. That is, once it cuts here, 
will be depth of cut of 0.5, diametrical reduction will be 1 mm and radius of retract, uh, retract distance, that means after uh, one cut, it will go back by 1 mm, it will come back, again it comes uh, to a distance of 0.5, that means depth of cut will be 0 0.5, unlike the previous problem. And also, uh, clearly given, between the block numbers N10, that is P10, Q20, between the block numbers N10 and N20, okay, N20, you have the actual program for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, okay. And I have clearly given, after rough turning, G71, U.1, W.1 should be the alliance left on X and Z, okay. See here N10, G01, XY, that is A, A, a tool moving to point A, G01, X10, Z minus 10, tool moving to point B. In that way, I clearly given, G01, Z minus 15, tool moving to point C, and G02, X20, Z minus 25, R10, tool moving to point D. In that way, it becomes a simple thing. I have done everything. After every, that is, after the program is over, N20, Z minus 52, that is I, okay, I'll send the roughing tool to the home position and I'll bring a new tool, T0202, and that will be rotating at 1450 RPM, 1450 RPM, okay, and the, that is again that the tool, the new tool will come to uh, the uh, tool entry point X32 Z1. Okay. And one command like this G70 P10 Q20 F25 means between the block numbers N10 and N20. Okay. You do the finish turning at a speed of 25 millimeter per minute. That is the idea. Okay. That means, that means that alliance of point 1 on both X and Z is removed, is X and Z is removed during finish turning, okay. That is P10, one command, G70 is finish turning, P10, Q20, between the block numbers N10 and N20, okay, N20 is here, here you do the finish turning between the block numbers N10 and N20, in that way the finish turning is also done, the tool goes to the home position, M05 stops the spindle, program stops and rewind, in that way the program is the, I have told you, in a, I have revised the program, that means I have uh, revised how exactly the manual part programming has to be done. Now, we will switch over to Danford Fanuc turning simulation software, giving the following commands under DOS prompt. First, double click on DOS box 0.74, that is DOS box, then go as per this, mount D colon, D colon slash press enter, D colon slash CD lathe. And uh, uh, then once you cut, uh, come to lathe, fanuk l, lathe dot execute and all that, press enter. In that way, if you do this, if you do this, you are coming to this. Okay, once you do this, you are, uh, you, you are entering the fanuk turning simulation software. Okay, now you see carefully. Now I have, I have this program now, whatever I have just now done, I have already loaded. File name for load is, I just name function F3 you put. That is F3 you put. Just press enter. And this program, whatever I have just now explained, I have saved under 03 turn bg.fnc. Just do this. Okay. Now you have the program, the same program. You just enter it in the way I have done here. As you see here, see here, that is depth of cut U.5, depth of cut and all that. It is a retract distance is 1, okay, multiple turning and P10, Q20, between the block numbers 10 and 20, you have an alliance of 0.1 on the X and 0.1 on the Z, speed is 35, okay, these things, everything, B01, XY, tool going to point A, then tool going to point B, tool going to point C, everything I have explained. Now, what you do is, once everything is done, okay, and you, are, you know very well, I used two tools here. One tool here and one tool here. This is the roughing tool. This is the finishing tool. First, uh, we'll see whether the tools have been fixed properly. For that, function F9 you put. Once you function F9, set tooling you go. Tool 1, you push enter. It's a roughing tool, okay. Okay, it is roughing tool. Then you go for tool 2. Tool 2, it is not some, some other tool is there. You put Keep pressing the right button, that is arrow, right arrow, right arrow key, okay, till you get finishing tool. Finishing tool, now this is one finishing tool, this also you can take, and this finishing tool you take, 
okay just the enter okay that means tool one as you see here it is a roughing tool okay you can see tool one is a roughing tool okay tool one is roughing tool and tool two you see it is a finishing tool that means now the tooling is okay now what you do is you just say escape now what you do is function f9 you do you check for syntax if you have done problem correctly your cnc program should be okay then you put escape then function f9 you do you do dry run so that it will this once you do the dry, uh, dry run this this will be in the simulation this will be x32 this will be z60 exactly it matches with that dry run that is the advantage of that this will be 32 this is the work page this is 32 it measures 32 this measures 60 okay in that way then function f9 again then you put the run program once you put the run program you see here now roughing tool is roughing tool has come and it is doing the operation since the di diameter that is depth of cut is 0.5 Every time diametrical reduction is 1 1 mm. You see here now 29. Next it should become 28. Correct? No, 28. Next 27. In that way, this is the thing. And also you should be observing uh, at the end, no, once everything is done, after rough turning, that point 0.1 will be left on the x and point 0.1 will be left on z also. That also you observe. x is 22 x is 21 in that way you keep observing this x is 20 x 19 x 17 x 16 x 15 x 14 because these things are 1 1 mm it is going because the depth of cut is 0.5 so, so that diametrically reduces by 1 mm okay now you see 9 8 7, see, see a 10.1, 20.1, 25.1, 30.1 and all that. Now roughing tool has gone and now the finishing tool has, is coming and this will remove, see here, 10, 20, 25, 30, 32, in that way, this also goes to the home position. Okay, now in this way, we have clearly done one clear simulation. Okay, that is, I have considered both tool 1 and tool, one, tool 2. Tool 1 is exclusively roughing tool. Tool 2 is actually finishing tool. So that tools uh, selection also I have told you. Okay. In that way, you, you can uh, do the simulation part perfectly. This is what you are supposed to show it to the examiner also. And also you see here, function, if you do F10, okay, simulate only is there. Okay, simulate. That is only simulation. Okay. You just see. Uh, that is only simulation that is function f10 you do simulate only you do then function f9 you do a function f9 then just run program then run program if you do it will be doing the same thing okay but now the screen full screen will be uh, the that is you it will be doing the simulation you can have the view better as you see here as i said earlier see here every time it will be reducing by that uh, 1 1 mm because the depth of cut is 0 0.5 see here x29 this is x28 this is x27 this is x26 okay now in that way the same thing you get but it is the full screen simulation. That is the only difference. It is a full screen simulation. This is the this also you can do. If you don't want this, you just say escape. TLC run is aborted. You take again go to F9. Okay. Sorry. You go to F10. Okay. You simulate edit and simulate screen. You can go. Okay, edit and simulate screen. You can go. Again, a function F9 run program you can do you are getting the same simulation okay in that way you can do this okay now we have come to the end of now we have come to the end of session two thank you very much for watching thank you friends thank you